Lesson number 10, Non-Verbal Communication. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain that most mammals are able to communicate their intentions through body posture and facial expression. And recall that facial expressions are species specific. And explain that a gesture or expression may appear as a threat to one species, but may seem something totally different to another. Pulling a face is one way of communicating our emotions to others. What do the different facial expressions of the people in this photograph tell you about how they're feeling? Chimpanzees pull faces too. Their facial language is often similar to ours in appearance and in its meaning. However, emphasis of expression varies. We frown more deeply than chimpanzees, but they have a broader grin. It isn't that humans are sadder than chimpanzees, and they are happier than humans. Most probably the difference of emphasis is due to the differences in the shape of the faces. For example, the front of a chimpanzee's face is proportionately broader than a human's face. However, some expressions seem to have different meanings in humans and chimpanzees. In chimpanzees, a full open grin is thought to show fear rather than happiness. Can you read body language? Body posture and movement tell others a lot about how you are feeling and your intentions. For example, if you sit towards someone, you are probably interested in the person and want to know more. People often use their hands to communicate information. The goodbye wave, the victory clenched fist, the circle made with thumb and finger, which usually means okay. These are called gestures. A gesture may not mean the same thing in all cultures. For example, in France, the okay gesture means something is worthless, and in Greece, it means something very rude. Mammals, birds, reptiles, and many other types of animal use facial expressions and body language to convey information to other individuals. Does a cat rubbing its sides against your legs means it loves you? As far as the cat is concerned, it's marking you as a part of its territory. Scent glands on the side of its face and the base of its tail mark you as its own. When a cat runs to greet a friendly animal, its tail will be held high. The raised tail indicates happiness and a welcome. A cat swishing its tail spells trouble. Generally, the cat is cross or feeling threatened. Add an arched back with bristling fur to a tail lashing to and fro and the cat is really angry. A dog wagging its tail gives out an entirely different message. The dog is happy. However, a tail down or tucked under the body are signs of fear. The language of the tail is different for cats and dogs. However, fur standing on end means as much the same thing in either case. The raised hair makes the animal's body look bigger and tells any other animal to beware.